Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Laura. And I'm Ryan. Welcome back. <laughs> this is our first ever summer pin tag. Well actually it is our first pin tag. So we have come up with one. We thought the, uh, the challenge was on. We've had so much fun participating in these before that we were going to come up with one ourselves. So we bring you the Summer Fun Disney Pin Tag. And uh, we managed to grab a few uh, YouTube friends out there and a lot, of, uh, a lot of great folks are gonna be participating in this, which is awesome. And of yeah. course, any and all are free. But yeah, we thought, you know, today is actually, we are filming this on Saturday, June the 19th. So it is the day before summer, the <laughs> official kickoff of the summer season is Sunday, June 20th this year. Very exciting. Yes. Also coincides with Father's so, Day. Reminder there. Cheers to the first day of summer. Yeah, thank and you. Lots of summer fun to come. <laughs> this is just iced tea for the record. It's good. Not, it is good. It's a good kind. Premium iced tea, yeah. not not quite as uh, as all out as our New Year's the you know top twenty for twenty twenty pin countdown where we had champagne, <laughs> but okay. So I think Ryan covered it all. This is the Summer Fun Disney Pin Tag created by yours truly. We came up with some simple prompts just in celebration of summer. So everything was pretty basic, um, but hopefully it's fun and. Um, yeah, this is for the first day of summer. So yeah. I think I was I just had something to say, but anyways, I forgot. So if it comes up later, <laughs> we will be tagging somebody at the end of this video. Ooh. So stay tuned for that. And um, oh yeah, Ryan said all the other channels participating. So their links will be down below. So be sure to check out all the awesome content and the awesome pins. Lots of people there. And, hey, that's, um, a, that's a pretty appropriate person we're going to be tagging for uh, for the summer theme yeah. challenge. I never <laughs> I never thought of that until right now. Spoiler there for you. We'll yeah, see if you can guess who it is. Don't give it away. Okay, so anyways, let's get into it. So we have 10 prompts for you. And as always, I'm old school. I just have it written down in front of us. So the first prompt is Boys of Summer. Show a pin featuring a male character or... Characters. Characters. So I've got this one and uh, a few favorites there. So of course we have Mickey, Donald, and Goofy being a bit of a goof as <laughs> one does. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fun pin we thought. It's not necessarily particularly summery, but like they're on vacation, yeah. they're taking a picture together in front of Space Mountain. Yeah. And uh, it's the bill. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about pin tags. There, you can just you make it work. Make it work for you. Like fudge it. Explain your reasoning. I mean, those are the boys of summer. So there we go. I'm gonna listen to a little <laughs> Don Henley after this. <laughs> Who did that cover? Do you remember the some well, like band know in the, our the era? Ataris. Oh, okay. Then I don't know who Don Henley is. Who was in the Eagles? Come on. I don't know. Take it easy. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> that's I, one of their songs. I know. Well, then you do know. <laughs> On to prompt number two. Celebrate. Show a pin featuring fireworks. So when we came up with that prompt, I knew exactly the pin that I was going to show for um, for this. Hopefully, we will hold it like this. You will probably recognize this um, as it is from the mini main attraction series. So that is the attraction pin from that three pin set. And... It's just beautiful, and the fireworks, and the sparkle, hopefully that shows up for you. Mickey fireworks. There's a hidden Mickey, so try to spot that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's prompt number two. Love that. And yeah. that is, of course, uh, here in Canada, Canada Day. It's July 1st, so that'll be a yeah. Thursday this year, and I guess that means the 4th of July will be a Sunday. Oh, so plenty nice. of fireworks in, I guess, two weekends from now. Yeah. Perfect. So prompt number three says, take me out to the ball game, show a sports pin. So we only have one sports pin. And it's like a pseudo sport like a, too. It's like, a, you know, not, not going to see this on the SPN one kind of sport. Maybe it's my favorite sport if it is even considered a sport. Well, 
Hopefully we didn't strike out with this selection. <laughs> so here we have bowling pin. So like Laura said, really our only sports pin. Although it's not a spoiler alert. I guess we have a few surfing ones that, uh, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, well, surfing to, to me is even less of a sport because I don't know. You don't really surf in Canada. Like, but yeah, Mickey looking cute as ever. There is a little motion element on this pin. Yeah. The, uh, the bowling ball, of course. <laughs> and I won't bore you with the, uh, the details or the story because you've heard it before, but of course, Yes, I am the sporty one who broke my arm bowling yeah. at a friend's 14th birthday party. Cool story. So, yeah, there we have it. <laughs> All right. Prompt number four says, beat the heat. Show a pin of a summery treat. So I knew, again, just the pin I was going to choose. This pin is Minnie Mouse featuring my favorite Dole Whip. So there is a Dole Whip place nearby here in Canada, and we are going to go check it out um, next weekend because wow. they have a specific schedule for their pineapple Dole Whip. So, and I have that mar marked in my phone. So we are going to be going. We'll let you know. Maybe we'll do a vlog. Maybe we won't because we can't do anything else because <laughs> things are still shut, as we say in every video. Anyways, Dole Whip's awesome. Yeah, in Brantford, Ontario. I don't think we're saying too much by saying that. So if you're in uh, Woodstock, Hamilton, KW, London, that whole triangle or square, you're uh, yeah. yeah, right in the, the center of it all. Yeah, so we'll let you know. Number five, dive in. Share a pin of a character having fun in the water. Okay. This is our favorite Do you character. know who it's going to be? <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll reveal it. This pin's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, we are uh, huge turtle fans. Uh, that's come up in a few videos, certainly. So this is Alumel, and uh, he's got his <laughs> ukulele and, and just enjoying a good little uh, tube ride there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they have like a lazy river kind of thing at uh, Alani. Oh. oh, probably. Probably. That would be a pretty great place to be. I'd love to kick off oh summer gosh. from Hawaii, uh, but maybe maybe next year. Yeah. Probably. A really, really adorable pin, right? <laughs> Super cute pin. And that's my favorite way to just enjoy the water is to just sit in an inner tube and not and have it be beautiful blue water too. Ooh, lake water. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, prompt number six, Christmas in July. Show us your favorite Christmas or holiday pin. So we have a small shadow box of Christmas pins and this one has always been a favorite. They're just so cute. I think it's from a booster set. So Chip and Dale, they just look so cute. And actually I noticed yesterday they have a little acorn with a bow on it. Did you notice that? I right didn't. The front there. No, and, that's really and cute. So Chip has a red scarf and Dale has a green scarf, which I really like. So that pin is awesome. And we do, like I said, we collect a small amount of Christmas pins. We don't go crazy, but um, yeah. Not yet. So, not yet. Not yet. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> By Christmas 2020, we will have like 500. No, I'm kidding. We won't. All right, you ready for the next one? Ah, I was just enjoying a sip of my iced tea. Okay. Just iced tea, like we said, it's not take, long. Please take note of these wonderful, I don't know, it's all wet, it's sticky, <laughs> the wonderful umbrellas. Yeah. Parasol, I think. Parasol. Not a Long Island iced tea, which of course there is no <laughs> iced tea in. And here's a question for, uh, for some of our friends south of the border. Sweet tea, that's not a thing in Canada, but I could go for some sweet tea, so. Uh, thinking of some trips to the southern states, and I think one that stands out, we were just talking about that, was uh, some hot chicken from Nashville, which is now all the rage everywhere, it seems. But yeah, Hattie B's was our was our favorite stop there. Yes. Let us know in the comments down below if you mm -hmm. have ever been there, and if you haven't, you need to go. Hattie B's was delicious, and also the Sweet Tea at Olive Garden is very good and I pretty much made myself sick off of it because I kept drinking it and then after you know that feeling when you just had yeah. too much and you're like oh unlimited soup yeah. salad and breadsticks 
Anyways, we miss going to the States. So next one, what did we just do? Okay, number seven, so sunny days. Share a pin that resembles summer. This one's very open. Yeah, yeah, it is. I took some debate too to figure out the right one. I love this pin. I think it resembles summer in all sorts of ways. So we'll show it to you first. It's again, Chippendale and they're on a boat and it's an old Key West resort pin. So I, a few things that I love about it. To me, that is very representative of summer, uh, especially with the lighthouse in the background, but just being out on the water on a boat be a little bit better if it was a sailboat that would be pretty awesome yeah. <laughs> palm trees in the background blue sky yeah that blue sky and so key west florida of course yes. that you know been there on a cruise stop once for a day that was a lot of fun <laughs> not so, me just him yeah love that one very jealous <laughs> would love to uh to do something like this oh, yes all right so prompt number eight love is love Share a rainbow pin in support of Pride Month. So, this is the perfect oh, rainbow it is. pin. Like, the perfect pin for Pride Month. So, and obviously, as you know, Pride Month is in June, which is why it's part of our summer pin tag. Oh no. Almost dropped oh. it. Good save. Oh, poor Mickey. Okay. So, there you have it. Funko Mickey as a rainbow. So, Ryan surprised me with the set. Well, last Christmas, well like Christmas 2019, so anyways, and this set is amazing. Yeah, if you've Christmas never... 2020. Oh god, well whatever year it is, <laughs> time flies, also it doesn't, I don't even know what day it is. Saturday, well, so it doesn't June matter. 19th. <laughs> but in this case, Sunday, June 20th, so <laughs> anyways, this pin is so cute and um, yeah, yeah the, the whole set is gorgeous, it's a 12 pin set. I believe one per month year of the could, mouse 2020 could grab it, but was I it well could yeah. i see them somewhere yeah like, do you was there ever yeah like all 12 say, together yeah really well, maybe not but there will be so follow us on instagram disney.pin.love and you'll see some pictures there so uh we'll feature all these little cuties and if you haven't seen the video maybe we can link it up there it was a christmas video so that was eons ago what is that word even? Yes. So, anyways, let's move along to number nine, road trip. Show a pin representing travel or a vacation destination. So, this was another one that kind of took some debate. We were like, we yes. had the Japan pin that just came out from the Epcot World Showcase. We have a few other Japan, Vietnam pins that we really like, but we decided to go with these two. Do you want to show them together? Do no, show them? Okay. I don't want to show them together. Okay. Just to pick up on what you were saying, I, I think a lot of internal debate about how we were going to do it, what we were going to select. It, Laura mentioned some destinations in Asia, which is sort of like a, a thing for, for me. I've been to some of those countries before. I would love to take Laura there. So that's definitely something on our bucket list to go to Japan, go to Vietnam, go to Cambodia, go to Thailand. Go to Hong Kong Disney. And yeah, Shanghai yeah, Disney. all the, all That's the, the only uh, way to get me there, so. Tokyo Disney too, Tokyo Disney Sea, it looks amazing. But we thought for, uh, for this one, we would do something that was a little more, uh, here's something that we have actually done in the summer. And, and we wish we could do this summer, but we can't do anything. Yeah. So feel bad for us. <laughs> we'll be living vicariously through you, going to the parks and watching your vlogs. So there it is. Mickey, cute as ever, quintessential summer gear. He's got his flip-flops on, he's got his camera, his hat, he's eating a Mickey bar, and he must be in WDW having a great time. So that is, uh, that's something we would love to be doing, and uh, something that, yeah, we, we would do it in the summer, even though it is oppressively hot. Yeah. We, uh, we're here for it. That's a convenient time for us to travel, mainly because of my job. I'm off in the summer, so. Yeah, and yeah. another one, because we said two for this one, so we're breaking all the rules. Uh, this is something that we did actually do in the summer, and this really started it all for us, I would say. Yeah. So it was uh, summer of 2018. Explain. And we went, to, uh, we went to Disneyland. Sorry. I just so. wanted to check the date on that pin. This is a pin from 2020, and it's a beautiful pin. I'm so happy to have this pin. So here it is. I love the, uh, the retro styling of it. 
is uh, just I'm always a fan of, of that kind of style but I, I just love that's where it all began Disneyland uh, opening in 55 of course and you got the classic Disneyland Hotel and uh, Mickey looking very sort of of the time taking a beautiful <laughs> picture of Minnie yes. who's posed by the sign with the with her, uh, you know, the, the cool shades and everything. Yeah. So Cat eye absolutely shades. love that. And uh, yeah, that's that's where it really started for us. Yeah. Was that summer having a few days. We only went yeah. for one day, unfortunately, to Disneyland. Spent a few more days in Anaheim and then over to Vegas. But that was really what got the wheels turning and got us to, uh, to Disney World for a week plus and yeah. kicked the whole thing off. Yeah. All right, so number 10 is our last prompt, summer soiree. Share a pin of a character in fancy attire. I'd like to go to a summer soiree right about now. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? Attire. Oh, I was gonna say I've heard this joke before but I can't remember. Because you said I'm summer dressed. attire. Yes. Right? Well, so fancy, a, a fancy tire attire. like a bicycle tire or a tire like what they are wearing the finely dressed or the shabbily I, dressed i get it so there's none other than our favorite disney duo mickey and minnie they're dressed so cute i love this pin minnie just the details in her dress like it probably won't show up on the camera but you can just believe me it is gorgeous and this is a Disneyland Paris pin so I'm so happy to have this one I was able to trade for it recently um, and it's just the best and that's how we would look if we went out to our soiree right now yeah not actually because I probably just want to go in like what we're wearing right now because I think these outfits are pretty cool there you go. Yeah. Love your ears, by the Thanks. way. Yeah, hopefully you very can see summer, them. Very summer. Very summer. I'm trying theme. not to like sit straight. <laughs> yeah, these are from um, a Canadian um, ear maker, Magic Mirror Ear Co. So check her out. Maybe we'll link her down below in the comments. Very nice. So Lori is awesome. She is the one who makes all the ears. So thanks for that leeway there. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So. Should we let them know who we're tagging? Yeah, drum roll. Okay, so we don't know if they're gonna be able to do this because they're super busy right now, but we are tagging Brandon and Heidi of It's Always Sunny. So Brandon and Heidi, we hope you're able to do this. We would love to see your pins. And like, um, I almost called you Brandon, but I almost said Brian. <laughs> like Ryan <laughs> said, of, uh, like Ryan funny. said, their channel is perfect for summer. It's always sunny, sunny in the summer. So, well, yeah. thank you, Lighty. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, <laughs> anyways, enough of that. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out all the other channels linked below. And if we didn't tag you, if you're not Brandon and Heidi, and you still want to do this... Do um, it. Do it. Just put Throw Summer Fun Disney pin tag in the title. Hit us up on Instagram. We already let you know what that is. And uh, we'd love to see your video. So, yeah. yeah. And I think and, the comment below, yeah. we were <laughs> we didn't come to a conclusion. So uh, in the moment, I think we were talking about uh, just, you know, some favorite summer things. So that's one that I would love to know this mm -hmm. summer in particular. Still a bit of a strange one, especially for, uh, for those in Canada because of some of the uh, restrictions that are ongoing. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to, though, this summer? Yeah. And or some favorite sort of summer rituals. Uh, for me, I, I think one of those things that I always look forward to or I want to do this year, we uh, were pretty lucky we moved near the end of last summer and uh, this house has a, a pretty gorgeous porch that we love taking advantage of, mm -hmm. sort of a nice wraparound style at the front. So yeah. I want to have like a, a nice beer and a slice of key lime pie would mm. be like, you know, perfect way to spend a summer evening to me. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So... Thanks, everybody. As always, we'll be back with more videos. So cheers to summer. Cheers. Hope it's a good one.